I know this sounds unbelievable, but taxpayers, all of us, will be paying homeless people to relocate from Las Vegas and California and wherever right here to Pahrump. And I'm, I'm not, this, I know that sounds sensational, and I'm going to show you all you need to know about this, exactly how, and it says it right there. We could actually also be paying the relocation cost for moving homeless people into Pahrump. U-Haul trucks are covered under this proposal that the commission wants to pass on Tuesday. This Tuesday, it's item 14.3, and it's called the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, and that's exactly what they're doing here, urban development. It's called the Continuing Continuum of Care Act funding. So locally, your local Nye County taxes seem appear to be maybe around 25% of the funding for this. So we do have money for that. We don't have money for the deputy police, the deputy sheriff contract that's going on right now. And I'll get to that at a future time. But the rest of this comes from your federal taxes. So it is taxpayers, 100% of all this, taxpayers paying to move homeless people here. And there's a lot un- to understand. There's a lot to, to break apart and look at here. And I want to do that in the most orderly way possible. So I'm going to have different sections of this I want, I want to talk about. And first, I want to go into the just summary of what this is. This is going to hand free cash to homeless people. Now, whether it's to them exactly or to the landlords, I'm not sure. But it will give free cash for homeless people to move here and live here in Pahrump. I'm going to read from the, from the agenda item. Approval and signature of grant agreement from HUD in the amount of $98,185 to provide tenant-based rental assistance in Nye County for people experiencing chronic homelessness. So if you're having a tough time paying your rent, it ain't you they're talking about. This is for people experiencing chronic homelessness. This doesn't mean you're living with your mom. This means chronic homelessness. And it has services attached. Intensive, long-term case management. And if you don't know what that means, that means forever, probably. It's unclear, again, whether we're handing cash to homeless people to go and get housing as part of this. I'm going to look into the breakdown in a second. Or if it creates a government-funded homeless housing project for someone to profit from with our tax money and profit from creating homeless people care here in Pahrumps to import people from Las Vegas and California. Either way, I don't, I don't know which is worse. Uh, it's not clear here from the documentation. I'm sure I could find it if I you know, looked more, but I, I didn't. doesn't really matter. Either way, it does the same thing. And let me just say very quickly, again, if this passes and we take federal money and use our own money, Nye County money, and offer it to build homeless housing projects and or pay people to transform their current housing into a housing project for homeless people, this is going to fundamentally transform Pahrump into what I've said in the past videos, into a town whose primary function is to care for other people's homeless. So rich people from California and Las Vegas, developers, business people are going to move their housing homeless projects into Pahrump, build housing homeless projects, knowing they're going to get this tax money and they can profit from it. This is the direction where this is headed. This is just the very, this is page one. And I want to get into more of the program in a few minutes and explain specifically where the money's going. But I do want to point out this is the Harris presidential campaign and their fight for homeless rights. This is what this is. This is part of this. And this is why I've been critical of this commission. I don't really see the Republican part of this. They all have Republican after them. I just, I, I don't, I've never seen a Republican body anywhere pass so much Democrat legislation as I have this organization. Now, this commission that's going to pass this on Tuesday is an outgoing commission. It's going to be gone in a couple of months. 40% of your county government will not be here in four months. 40% of the people passing this will not be here in four months. But their effects of this vote 
will fund- fundamentally transform Pahrump into a homeless community, possibly forever, with 40% of the people not going to be there. This is being jammed in ahead of me taking office and John Koenig taking office in District 2, and it's on purpose. It's being done on purpose. We should not be making big decisions like this in the last couple of months of a four-year term. It just makes no sense. Uh, It's fraudulent as far as I'm concerned. People have voted to go in a new direction. And instead of honoring the residents who said, we don't want to continue with this corrupt mess that you guys have created, they're still, they're at it again. Just keep, keep on going down the same path that people just rejected in November. I'm sorry, in June. It makes no sense to me. But that's what they do. And they don't make sense to me. The next thing I want to talk about is how this particular vote is going to happen. I've talked to you about this before. It's called the consent agenda. The consent agenda is designed to package a bunch of kind of boring and routine, usually similar things together. So, for example, and I've used this before, and I'm not sure if this is, I, I don't remember. I studied this 20 years ago or something. But when a, my understanding is when a, a a military officer is promoted. It's got to be an act of Congress, okay? So someone goes from captain to major. Someone goes from lieutenant to captain. These are all acts of Congress. Now, you're not going to get a debate on each thing, and they say they're going to bundle you know, 1,000 people into a consent agenda, 1,000 names of 1,000 people who are going to become a captain once this is passed. And someone will say, I'm proposing the consent agenda. This, these 1,000 people are going to become a captain in the Army, Navy, and Air Force, Marines, and uh, we're going to vote on this. And everyone votes, yeah, okay, because you're not going to debate that. There's nothing controversial about it. There's nothing that's going to prompt any discussion there. That's what the consent agenda is for. So, for example, this one, this homeless thing is attached to a bunch of people who are changing their property tax bills to be correct. So I don't like how this is, is being misused on the consent agenda. I don't like that. So it's item 14.3, and it's point three because item 14 is the agenda of all these different things, these different points with these boring things, making uh, rules about county land and correcting tax bills, and then this gets kind of snuck in there at the end. Let me explain more about it. We read the description. Here's the letter, the agreement between HUD and Nye County. This is boring stuff, but I just want to show you how this, how this happens. So this is the agreement between HUD and Nye County to agree to provide homeless help. And then here we see the breakdown of the actual money here. It gives tax money for rental assistance. Again, this is I'm guessing this is going to go to landlords. Uh, it'll say, we'll get 10 homeless people in this place. Uh, here's all this money. Uh, let, let them live here. And who, if they actually live there or not, who knows? That doesn't really matter. It's just designed to give landlords money. That's what they specifically will do. And then there's this supportive services, and this will bring new homeless in. It's designed to attract homeless people who can now get free stuff and money and rent in Pahrump. And so it doesn't look like a lot of money, but it's going to be, it's going to plant a bunch of homeless people here who will become now dependent on us as taxpayers on this money every year. So they're going to show up here. We're going to pay for their moving trucks. We're going to set them up. We're going to give them food. We're going to give them drug addict services. And then they're stuck here. This is where they are. They're, all their stuff is here because we moved it here with using this money. These are the supportive services that we will now be providing to homeless. And by the way, it is illegal to restrict this to homeless only in Nye County. We find that out by the DA who said you can't do that just a few months ago. So you have to allow California homeless. You have to allow Las Vegas homeless. You have to allow homeless from anywhere. I, I think you have to allow from any country, I believe. I, I don't know. We don't know. And there's no, there'll definitely be no discussion on it because it's in the consent agenda. So we won't hear any of this discussion. And if you look on Google, you'll see right now, because of this something that's happening in the federal law, that all these people, all these towns and cities in California are trying to get rid of their homeless. So up pops Pahrump. Hey, we're going to move you out here. Hey, you want to come out to Pahrump? We got money, we got a truck waiting for you. Here, come on out. So the timing couldn't be worse for bringing new people in. And this is what's going to happen here if this is passed. Eligible supportive services include moving costs right there. We will help homeless move. 
I don't know how else to say it, moving costs. So anything that will pay for moving people, we're going to do it. Housing search, we will pay to find them housing, then we're going to pay for the housing. Here's, you see legal services, that means if they destroy the property or do drugs or get arrested doing something wrong, on the slight chance they actually get charged with a crime, which is unlikely, we will be paying for an attorney to defend the homeless person. So there's that. Mental health services, or if we try to remove them from the home, we are, we'll be actually paying. So if the county tries to do something to remove homeless people from this, the county will actually be on the hook to pay for the attorney for the homeless person to defend against the county that's trying to remove the homeless person. So it's, just, it's designed to bring them here forever. That's what this is. Substance abuse treatment, you know what that is. That means specifically homeless drug addicts will be targeted to bring them in here. Mental health services, same thing. Homeless people with mental health problems will be specifically targeted to bring them in here. And if this passes on Tuesday, it's going to be a very difficult time undoing this because, again, they're going to be here. And they're going to need help and they're going to demand help. And then we're going to actually pay for lawyers to sue us if we try to remove them. That's what's so dangerous about this whole thing. I will be taking office in January as a District 3 County Commissioner. It's going to be difficult to undo the awful policy like this. And I'll let you know what happens on Tuesday. I predict it's going to pass without any discussion, just like it's intended to. And we can just watch as all the new homeless people come into town because that's what's going to happen. Around the time I take office, you're going to see more homeless people because of that. And it's designed to do just that. So they can say, hey, Bain said he wanted to get rid of homeless. All these new homeless came in right when he took up. What's going on there? And you can remember that I told you in September that when they, if they pass this, they sneak this in. If they pass this, that's why that's happening. And they had plans to put homeless shelters and all kinds of things and they're upset because the new incoming commission will not be for that. And we're going to try to clean this up. So if you want to go to my website, get updates, you can go to ianbain.com, I-A-N-B-A-Y-N-E.com. I'm Ian Bain. I authorize this message.